cost of free sex. When you notice she has started making funny advancement towards you, don't think she is being attracted by your handsomeness, no sir. She is being attracted by your star. She is a high-class gorgeously pretty babe that wealthy guys out there are willing to spend on her just to lay with her. But for you, she has decided to give it to you free of charge despite you don't measure up with the type of guys that are queuing to have her. My dear can't you see? It is your star she is after. She is a star hunter positioned by Satan to empty your destiny. She wants to sap you dry until there will be no trace of anointing left in your life. My dear, nothing is as costly like free sex. Free sex has turned many prophets into puppets and many fire brands into fire extinguishers. If only your spiritual eyes are opened, you will see lurk behind the beauty is a beast waiting to ravage your soul. Young man, stop boasting about the way girls are tripping, for you, claiming it's because of your cuteness and plenty, swag. They are even ready to open their legs for you anytime you want them to and for that, you are super excited. My dear, they are killing you silently. If only you know what you lose any time you have sexual encounters with them, you will weep non-stop for the next three months. Sex is spiritual sir. No sexual encounter happens without a spiritual transaction taking place, even in marriage. When a man meets his wife, he transact his sperm for a child in return. Are you aware that there are some vagina you insert your manhood into that won't only collect your sperm but collect your star? The wealth, greatness and glory of so many men have been buried in the graveyard located in between the legs of some marine agents disguising as pretty girls. There are serpents wearing skirts sir. There are scorpions putting on bump shorts sir. There are monsters disguising as Mr. Handsome, Ma. This message is not only directed to guys but also to ladies. A lot of ladies have equally fallen victim to the trap of free sex. I remember one time Dr. D. K. Alukoya, G. O. of Mountain of Fire, shared a testimony of a guy who ran to his office one day for deliverance. He said the moment he started praying for the guy, he noticed a strange, violent movement in the position of his manhood and the guy was screaming. He quickly got his anointing oil and poured it on the spot where the movement was happening. Suddenly, something forcefully tore his zip and came out. To his amazement, he saw the guy's manhood having the head of a snake and the snake was bringing out its tongue at intervals. After conducting deliverance for the guy he later sat him down for interview and asked him to mention the number of girls he had slept with. To his surprise, the guy could not recount. Just imagine a manhood with the head of a snake inserted into the vagina of a lady, imagine the level of damages it will cause in the life of such lady. Sisters, some manhood are like spiritual pipes capable of draining your greatness and sucking glory out of your star. The most devastating arrow from the pit of hell piercing through the heart of this generation currently is the arrow is sexual immorality. It has become a norm. It has become so bad that if a young man approaching his twenties isn't having sex, he will be seen as abnormal among his peers. 12 years olds, 14 years olds, 15 years olds are already losing their virginity. Little wonder there is no generation that is as spiritually and mentally bankrupt like our generation. We have all the technology, informations, revelations etc. at our disposal, yet we are yet to manifest like the early church who never had these things. Yet, we are still believing God to invade our generation like he did in the days of the early apostles. Sir, nothing has sapped the spiritual strength of the end-time church like the cankerworm of sexual immorality. There is a rage from hell against the younger generation. Satan wants to corrupt the vessels God is planning to use in the coming revival. It is time to pray. It is time to lean on God's grace, for by strength shall no man prevail. 1 Sam 2, 9. It is time to lay on the altar and cry, Baba, if you don't help me, this end time wind will blow me away until I finally land in hell. My father. I am a young man. My hormones are supercharged and active. If your grace does not come to my aid, there is no way I can escape these daughters of Jezebel position to wreck my soul. My lord. Our campuses have become like Eden where ladies are almost walking naked unshamed. Savior, if you don't help me I will sink. Lord help me. Ah, there are cute guys that are parading their wealth before my eyes.
If you don't help me I will fall into temptation. My father, I want to make heaven. I want to live pure, help me. Please, let no body form Superman here, let no one try to act, over spiritual, here. If God does not help us, we are finished.